and what happened with Future? I know you guys had a baby, everything was so great. People see me glammed up and everything looks like it's good and everything is not always good. good. Getting a guy who has kids by multiple different women. Always had this thing for a rebel. Future already has three baby mamas, so Sierra, hop in line, you'll be like number four. Allegedly, he was still fooling around with one of his other baby mamas. I would have moments in the shower and I'd be crying like, <laughs> No, I'm sure it was really difficult for you. You had a baby, you were engaged, it was all very public, and then it was over. Because a person can lie so good, and when you love somebody, you can't hear. The engagement was being called off. I called it off. Uh, how did she respond? She <laughs> called you dishonest and ignorant. Reports say Sierra has moved on with football star Russell Wilson just months after her breakup with Future. I gotta say some off-the-wall to give people attention. Future has been attacking Russell Wilson because he's with Sierra. I'm your husband. You better not even bring Future name up. Sierra's an opportunist. Sometimes we give people on Earth more power than they should have. Everyone knows your business. Well, everyone thinks they know. Head over heels in love, Sierra was blind to the warning signs from Future. Last year was like the best year of my life. He's my best friend and my true love, and I feel like this year is going to get even better. You're in a public relationship now. Yeah. How does that feel? Going yeah. from me being uh, with different girls every day. Wait, you went from different girls every day to every just day, one? Every day, rockstar lifestyle. A lot of folks were saying that she should not be dating Future. He's got a 16-year-old with Jessica, and then India has a nine-year-old with him. Britney's got his five-year-old son. Despite the public criticism, Sierra saw her dream family with Future. I took care of his kids as well. I was involved very early in the stage of us getting to know, to know each other. Growing up, we didn't have everything. It wasn't like the most extravagant life. It was really all, I was very really spoiled with love. I would definitely be married, because that's a very important element to life for me. Like, without love, you have nothing. But when the couple welcomed their son, Future Junior, everything changed. I had already said we was about to go and get married, so she was just trying to feel like we need to go on and do it. And I'm like, man, no, nah, I'm not finna get married. I'm not comfortable about compromising, about just being the person that I am. Soon, rumors swirled that Future had cheated on Sierra just months after she gave birth to their son. I'll be like, crying because I am not in the happiest place and it hurts when I'm going through it. I was just like not sure about do I stay or do I, you know, which direction do I go? What is the right thing to do? And it's like, it's easy to do this, but is the easy thing the right thing? When I was thinking about my son, I know what I want to feel. I know the kind of love like that I want for us. us. My dad and my mom, after nine days after knowing my mom, they were married and they've been together for 31 years. Sierra was torn between the picture perfect family in her head and the reality in front of her. I don't feel like I'm failing right now. If you sit in situations that aren't healthy or you let them like linger too long, yeah. you start to lose yourself because yeah. you realize that time does not stop. But my yeah. dad's love is what saved me. It would get to a point where I was like, my dad would do this to my mom. Bad. This just can't be love. Sometimes we give people on earth more power than they should have. I don't like crying all the time. Right. I don't like being sad. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, get out of this. I've realized I have to start making different decisions. Right. Period. Sierra had to do what was best for her son and leave her toxic relationship. Let's go. I'm going to commit to pulling through. There's no other option. If I chose not to commit, then I was going to fall apart. But after a very public and painful breakup, Sierra unexpectedly became a single mom to their son. Becoming a single mom, with, I would have moments when I'd be in the shower and I'd be crying like, <laughs> After escaping her toxic relationship, Sierra felt like she had to start all over again. I've always had the same goal to be loved, but I was just walking in the wrong direction. I thought I was going to be single for a long time. But when she looked into baby Future's eyes, she knew she had to keep going. Future was like my teddy bear. So I was like, we gonna go. We about yeah. to do this thing together. Exactly. My son has totally given me so much clarity. You know, I definitely know a lot of things that I don't want. I really know. You know, and right. I'm clear about recognizing them when I see them. I'm going to tell you this right here. Mm. Man will never stop me from living my dream. Sierra tried to move on, but Future didn't make it easy. In the interview, Future completely denied all the cheating allegations. The engagement was being called off. I called it off way before any cheating rumors ever came out. Yeah. Was it mutual? Was it like, okay, we both agree this ain't going to work, or was it you saying this ain't going to uh, work? I said it wasn't going to work. How did she respond? She was like... You know how she was. Bruised by her toxic past and Future's public outbursts, Sierra tried to let go of the negativity and find her dream again. I, I become my strongest when I allow myself to be vulnerable. Mm. And, and for many times over the past years, I've been afraid of doing that. I, and that was kind of like going into protect mode and defense mode. But 
you know, I really grew from being vulnerable. And loving myself was yeah. huge yeah. because once I start to love myself, then I'm also loving my son, how I can also be loved how I deserve to right. be loved. And I could feel the feeling of what I wanted to have in my husband that was going to come into my life. Wow. Sierra finally knew what she wanted, but she never expected to find it in gentle NFL star Russell Wilson. When Russ and I met, we were being friends first. He actually met my family in the friend setting. When we talked, we were connecting in every way. Oh. It was different. Okay. I never had that feeling in my life. What was life. the feeling? What was it? It was just like, it was calm. But did Russell share her dreams? Also, the energy with my son, it just felt right. And yeah. then, of course, the consistency. He's consistent. Russ jumped right in. He was changing diapers. He was so proud of Future's first steps. Whenever he would think of me, he would always think about my son. And to love me is to love my son. But just as Sierra found new love, her old mistakes came back to haunt her. Future has been attacking Russell Wilson. He's been giving him death threats online. He's been harassing him on social media, all because he's with Sierra. He not being a man in that position. Like, he not being a man at, at that point. Leave my son out. Just leave him out of your relationship because we don't need your relationship for anything. I can take care of him on my own. Sierra refused to be drawn into Future's mind games. In order for us to really grow and excel, we got to be conscious of who we're surrounding ourselves with. So you can't be afraid to drop dead weight. And you got to make sure you're surrounded by the right people. And what happened with Future? We have a child together, you mm -hmm. know, and I think as a parent, it's important to be able to communicate. And after letting go of her past, Sierra built her dream life with the right partner. It has been a very special journey with my husband and I because we are a blended family. It is my mission to only grow from this point on. I don't have any regrets in my life. Everything has happened to me. It, it, I know it happened for a reason. Be very specific, be very clear about what you want and to the point to where you can taste it. Well, my ultimate goal is to just make the best of my life and make sure that who I'm sharing it with is the best person possible and I can have the best time.